Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. So if you're passionate about skincare and see products that are effective yet affordable then this is the channel for you. So please do make sure you subscribe down below and join our little skincare family and also please do give this video a massive thumbs up because it really does help me out. And so without further ado let's get on to today's video. I am so excited for today's video. I am literally putting my life in my subscribers hands. <laughs> Is that the right thing? Anyway, so as you probably guessed by the title of today's video, I'm going to be letting my subscribers pick my skincare routine, basically products. More specifically, my evening skincare routine because I just feel like, you know, there's more like actives in there and basically is where you can just really up the ante and just really get down and get dirty. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do is go over onto my Instagram and message a bunch of you guys. I'd absolutely love to message all of you, but I just don't think my skin can handle a nearly 8,000 skincare routine. <laughs> that is just, you know, taking Korean skincare to the next level. <laughs> and how I'm going to do this is that each person is going to pick a product for me to use in my routine. They're going to pick from Cult Beauty and then I'll purchase them from Cult Beauty just so it's easier and it comes all together at one time. Then we're going to try out the products in a routine. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. What about if somebody <sighs> makes me spend like £100 on a moisturiser? So first of all, we'll pick Stella to do the cleanser because she's just like absolutely like being such a fantastic supporter to me and I absolutely love her. So, hey, hon. And then next I will pick Maria who has also been a fantastic supporter and we chatted like um, quite a few times giving her product recommendations and stuff like that and you know, just like, oh, she's recently bought the cleansing balm, oh, cleansing balm by the Inkless and Yes. <laughs> and so now we've got our cleanser people picked out. I'm going to go on with like a hydrating toner and I'm going to pick Rashawn from Glow Skin Guy on Instagram because he's just such a sick guy. I'm just making sure that I don't want people to think that they need to buy me that specific product. So like Skincare Diaries 101. She's an absolute gem. So I'm going to message her for my serum. So what is next? A moisturizer. We'll go on with Natasha because she's an absolute gem. I love her so much. Right, so in my evening skincare routine, I've asked people to pick my first cleanse, my second cleanse, my hydrating toner or exfoliating toner, a serum and a moisturizer. I think I'm just gonna leave at five skincare products to use in a routine. I think I've covered all of the bases there. And yeah, I'm really excited to sort of see what kind of products come back and oh, I'm actually quite nervous. <laughs> so guys, it's been a few days since I last spoken to you and since my fate was decided in the palm of your hands. <laughs> so without further ado, let's just get into this evening routine. And well, you guys definitely made me spend my money. And so first of all, we have our first cleanser, which was very kindly chosen by Stella. And she picked me the Neod Sanskrit Saponis. Saponis? Saponis? So I believe this cleanser can be used as a first cleanser or a second cleanser. However, it won't remove like heavy traces of makeup. So like your waterproof mascara or anything like that. It will remove like the buildup of sunscreen throughout the day and also the dirt in the ground throughout the day as well. And looking at the ingredients list, it's actually really, really good. And some ingredients in there that I have absolutely no idea what on earth they are. But from what I can see, it's got the likes of glycerin, caprylic triglyceride, and it's got caprylic glycol in there as well. So it's really great at moisturizing and smoothing the skin. It's also got arginine, which is an amino acid. And then there's the ingredients, which I don't really know. I've never really heard of, heard of before. So it's got desert date, fruit extract, gypsophilia extract in there, and it's got also the saponins in there, um, which I believe is a connection to the amino acid lysine. But, you know, don't count me on that one. I've just sort of like quickly read up on it. And Neod state that this cleansing balm contains no synthetic or purified surfactants, sulfates, oils, esters, and also micellar technologies. It is vegan, cruelty-free, and also alcohol-free, and it has a pH of around 7 to 7.5. So this is suitable for all skin types. It targets blemishes, congestion, and impurities on the skin. And they say that after first use, it leaves, basically it leaves your skin nearly pore-free. Like, Wowzers. That is some big claims. So let's put it to the test. So it says wet face foily, which I've done, and then massage SS between your palms for a few seconds to form a paste like lather and then apply it to entire face. Oh god, coming out already. 
Oh, it smells like a like a salad dressing or something like that. You know, that would you put on your like your alfresco lunch or something. <laughs> so with this, I'm just gonna basically avoid the delicate eye area because I really don't want to upset um, my skin or have any irritation or anything like that. But the sort of the consistency you, um, once applied into the skin it really does remind me of like the Inkillis Oak Cleansing Balm, where it's sort of like you know like a really oily based cleanser so that's why i've used it as a face cleanser i am sort of a bit skeptical on whether it should be used as a face cleanser or a second cleanser though so if you have used this product please do let me know down in the comments below because i'd be really interested to know so that's all washed off and i'm just going to keep my face damp because obviously we've got our second cleanser but first impressions i actually do really really enjoy it it's sort of like too early to tell whether it's made a massive difference on my skin or not but in regards to reducing the look of pores i feel like yeah i mean you're not going to see it on camera here unfortunately but where I'm sort of really poor, poorly <laughs> because of my combination skin, um, they're definitely sort of like really being mattified and sort of like, you know, faded out, like blurred out if you get me, which is a bit weird. And so now moving on to our second cleanser, which was very kindly chosen by Maria. And she picked us the Averse Wash It Out Gel Cleanser. And FYI guys, this was the cheapest product in this routine. <laughs> I know. And so I have done a few product reviews before of Averse Skincare, so I'll leave them linked in the description box down below for you guys to check out if you haven't done already. But yeah, I'm about, I'm like 50-50 on Averse Skincare brand. I definitely thought some products could have been upped in concentrations of like active ingredients, so like salicylic acid, um, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide, and stuff like that. But some of the other products I really did enjoy, and you'll see them soon in my empties video. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this out, and I really do hope I like it. So the ingredients list is actually quite good. It has the likes of lactic acid in there, rose water, sodium taurate in there, and it has, um, oh, it does have lemon, and it does have peppermint oil in there but i mean that is definitely not a deal breaker for me this is really really refreshing do you remember um any uk people out there i don't think they sell it in like you know overseas but there's like um shower gels called original sauce and this definitely smells like that minty one but not as strong <laughs> Oh, so that's all washed off my face and my face does actually feel quite dry um, But I don't know if it's the combination of the Neod product with the Verge product So I'll be very interested to see you know whether how this performs as a standalone product um, But I've absolutely just totally realized that I haven't been wearing my hairband on <laughs> oh, But anyway <laughs> Oh, um, look at that massive forehead, like, oh my god. And now moving on to the toner part. And so I asked Rashawn from Glow Skin Guy on Instagram to pick me a toner. I had no sort of influence in picking a toner because he did ask me whether I wanted like a hydrating toner or an exfoliating toner. And I was just like, it's totally up to you. And guess what he got? This. <laughs> oh god. You guys just love it me to spend my money don't you <laughs> so it's the glow recipe watermelon glow pha plus bha pore type toner oh that is a mouthful and rashawn you know absolutely hypes this product up so if it's not good for me then rashawn i'm coming for you and if i ever get it open maybe this will be like the gateway product to me having a everlasting loving relationship with glow recipe i'm sure it will be <laughs> But I can't get it open, so I can't do it. There we are, finally. And looking at the ingredients list, it is so, so good and full of hydrating ingredients. So your first ingredient is cactus water. What? And then you've got your watermelon extract, you've got glycerin and hyaluronic acid followed straight after that. So that is just, oh, I'm absolutely blown away already. And then you have obviously your aqua, which is your water. You have your gluconoloctane, which is your PHA element of this product. You have betaine salicate, which is the BHA element of the product. Um, and you do have your willow bark extract of that. However, you know, that doesn't follow the same benefits of salicylic acid. Tea tree extract as well. Hibiscus flower. You've got more watermelon in there. You've got cucumber extract. You've got licorice extract. You've got sugar cane. So a lot of plant derived extracts in there. And it does have, um, you know, perfume, like perfume fragrance in there. And also lemony in there. Just to, you know, bear in mind for new fragrance haters out there. I know there's quite a few. <laughs> so because I don't like cotton pads, I literally just, you know, 
splash 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 on oh <laughs> so now i've taken the little safety cap off it i'll just go like this into my oh that is well the consistency of that is amazing so i'll do like a little close-up if i can look at that stringiness that is obviously like the cactus water in there wow i'm amazed at that yeah so obviously i don't use a cotton pad and i just like to go into my hands and gently pat on my face like so honestly guys i am so so impressed by that product i'm really really on that formulation that ingredients list is absolutely fantastic it definitely you know is something that you see a lot in korean and japanese skincare brands and skincare products just like fantastic ingredients list and yeah it's not overly expensive either so definitely worth the money on that one so now that's all absorbed into my skin and my skin is feeling hydrated we are moving on to our next product which is a serum and so skincare diaries 101 over on instagram and who's also you know subscribed to me here on youtube has picked me up a fresh product so it's the vitamin nectar glow juice antioxidant face serum so this isn't something i would personally pick myself because it does have coconut oil in there and it's quite high on the ingredients list however i'm keeping a really open mind to this um i have had a fresh product before it was like a face mask but i wasn't really into it that much so i really do hope that you know this reunites my love for fresh skincare <laughs> so the ingredients list comprises of glycerin propandiol sunflower seed oil it's got coconut oil in there it's got ginger water it has a vitamin c derivative in there and it's also got zinc gluconate in there as well it does have orange and lemon extract in there and also a few fragrant components as well so it really does i actually it smells like a, a big glass of orange juice so even though this is like sort of like a vitamin c product i don't think it's really targeting um you know brightening your skin in terms of hyperpigmentation or anything like this i just think it's um, a way of really sort of helping your skin to protect itself by giving lots of antioxidants and sort of you know overall general skin health definitely i actually am really surprised by this product it's not sort of irritating my skin or anything like that and it, i mean i love orange juice you know so if i can drink it and smell of it then i'm a happy man <laughs> and finally we are on to the last product of the skincare routine and we have the moisturizer and this well was the most expensive product out of everything and it's definitely not something i would personally pay for a skincare product but this brand has a fantastic reputation for their skincare products and their technology and you know their knowledge basically so the subscriber tash berry picked me the dr dennis gross hyaluronic marine oil free moisture cushion oh oh so it's sort of like a mix of like a watery but kind of thick you know consistency it sort of reminds me of like what clouds would feel like so quite like nice and soft but like bouncy as well no oh my fresh product has just gone in there it's 10 quid right there i'm actually dead old i'm actually so looking at the back on the ingredients list it's got quite a huge list of ingredients which always makes me a bit skeptical of it but it's got the likes of dimethicone got butylene glycol sodium hyaluronate and aloe leaf so yeah some really you know good moisturizing and hydrating properties in there it's got watermelon coconut orange lemon and sugarcane extract as well as you know glycolic and also your lactic acid in there so a lot of like those you know natural extracts in there as well as your active ingredients of AHAs. It has radish root ferment extract, it has a vitamin E derivative. Yes, that is a vitamin E derivative. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six. It has seven fragrant components in there. But applying this product on it does really feel incredibly lightweight. So, you know, this is gonna be fantastic for my combination skin. It's not thick or anything like that. You know what it really reminds me of? It reminds me of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Cream. And like the whole sort of like look of it, the texture, the feel of it. Um, obviously, you know, the Dr. Dennis Gross has, you know, more of an extensive ingredients list. And, and some really you know good ingredients in there kind of the overall application and feel of it i you know so i'll leave it at that <gasps> oh god 